everybody, this is Oliver from Blentus.com. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, organize your scene in Blender. Okay, if you're working on a very complex scene um, with a lot of objects, you will need uh, some ways to keep them organized so you don't become insane. So, I have here a little scene with three different monkey meshes and we are going to see how to organize them. Okay, I'm, I will be using layers, the scenes and the groups. Okay, so let's start with the layers. The layers are these little squares down here on the header and well, the little circles uh, into them are the grays one represent that there are actually objects into that layer. Okay, and the yellow one is uh, that the selected object is on that layer. Okay, so how can you change uh, the layers that are shown? Well, just uh, left click on them, okay, or just shift and click on them to show more than one at the same time. Alright, now uh, also you can press the numbers on the keyboard not in the numpad okay so one two three four five until zero okay which is the layer number 10 and now for the for the second line of them from the 11th to the 20th you will need to press alt 1 2 3 4 5 etc right so let's go again to the layer 1 and how you can change an object for, to another layer? Well, you select the object, press M, and here you click the layers where you want the object to assist. Uh, the cool thing about this is that the same object can assist on more than one layer at the same time. So you can press M, shift and left click another layer. Okay, for example, the layer number three. So, if you turn on the layer three, the rest of the objects uh, will be hidden, but that one which exists on this layer will be shown. Okay, if you go to a layer where there is nothing, uh, nothing will be shown, obviously. Alright, so you can select another object and put it on the layer 2. Okay, so now as you can see, this is pretty interesting. Right. Let's put this again to the layer one. Right now, I'm going to create now groups, so you can see how to organize objects in groups. So I have this one here. Just select the the object or the group of objects that you want to uh, to become a group. Press Ctrl G and name the group something like Red Monkey group. Okay. Now let's go to this one. Control G again and blue monkey group. And this one here control G and green monkey group. Also, you can select them all, create a new group and name it all alright now you can add or uh, create objects from a group for example if I go to this red monkey well it's not actually red <laughs> but well you understand me uh, okay the red monkey let's go to the object panel here and here in the groups sub panel we have the groups to uh, which this object uh, is inside them. Okay, so here, for example, is not red monkey, it's monkey group. Okay, so if you want to create an object from an from a group, you can go here and press this uh, cross. All right. Now we can press again add group and this will uh, show up this list of exist, existent group 
groups on the scene. Okay, so for example, all monkeys, and it will become again part of the all monkeys group. Also, if you want to create a new group from here, you can. Okay, you can click this here, which is add new group. Here you are, and a new group will appear here. Right, so let's call it how you want, or just quit it. Now, for for taking a look at all the groups in the scene, you can go here on the, to the outline, and here let's select groups. So here you have all the groups that you have in the scene. Okay, so if you select the group, you will select all the objects into this group. For example, red monkey group will select the red monkey green monkey, blue monkey, or all monkeys. Okay, this is very useful when you have a, an object that uh, has a lot of parts and all that parts become a group. So you can select here a group and all the parts of that object will be selected. Okay, this is very useful for complex scenes. Also, you can use this uh, for actually hide objects or hide groups and make them selectable or unselectable or renderable or not renderable right so for example if we want to uh, hide the red monkey let's go here and hide it and it's hidden that's one or here all the monkeys will be hidden uh, as the objects become to these groups if we change uh, one of these parameters into one group, the other ones will reflect that change. Okay, so uh, if this group has only an object and it's hidden from another group, it will be hidden also. Right, so, well, we can also expand this to see all the objects into that group and select them by the name. Okay, which is very very cool or hide them from here or for example make the green monkey unselectable so now I cannot select it even I make this it's not selected this is very very useful I love it right so now we have the groups explained let's explain the uh, scenes okay in blender so here we have the scenes panel. I will call it this is scene all monkeys. Alright. And now let's create another scene which will be an empty scene. This will be red monkey. Right, let's go to the all monkeys scene. Select the red one, press Ctrl L, and we can make a link to the object to a scene to the red monkey scene here is a list of all the scenes in that in this project so let's go to red monkey and now if we change to the red monkey uh, scene we only see the red monkey okay the cool thing about this is that if we change uh, something here like this for example this will be reflected on the rest of the scenes in which that object is linked to. Right, so this is very useful when you have, uh, for example, uh, a lot of characters in a scene. So you can uh, put each character separately into one scene and then create another scene where all the uh, characters are linked. Right, so this is uh, very useful. Also, you can go to the Red Monkey scene and change something on the edit mode like this <laughs> a horn there right exit the edit mode go again to the all monkeys scene and here is the change right uh, what else uh, well we can create a full copy of, of a scene right so let's click here uh, full copy now all monkeys 001 Okay, I'm going to name this All Monkeys Full Copy to have a difference uh, between the two scenes All Monkeys. Right, so uh, All Monkeys Full Copy is an entire copy of the first scene, but it's not linked. So if I change something here, it will not be reflected 
on the old monkeys scene because these are just a copy of the other one so they are not linked anymore if you want them to be linked you need to press here and link objects so now all monkeys linked will reflect change all monkeys they reflect the change okay all monkeys linked now if you want uh, an object not to be linked anymore just press U and make single user object or object and OB data in this case because the OB data is uh, the edit mode for calling it uh, some way right this is the object but when you enter in the edit mode this mesh is the data right so uh, the normal is to make the object and the OB data user single users right so now if we change this the old monkeys will not reflect this but will reflect this one there you have it also if you change something here in the edit mode it will not be changed alright there you have it but let's try with this one if you make a single user only for the object the OB data will be linked so we can change uh, the position of this object here and it will not be reflected here but if we change on this scene the mesh it actually will be reflected here or here right so this is uh, quite tricky but very useful and very very powerful once you know how to use it and well with these three um, monkeys <laughs> with these three uh, ways of organizing your scene I think you can do uh, quite interesting scenes with a lot of objects and keep them organized so well you don't uh, came insane and well you work with some comfortable way right uh, so well this is all for now uh, see you on the next tutorial and happy blending